Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Whisker Sticks Fishing. Today we're showing you some family friendly safe places to fish all around the greater Cincinnati area. If you're handicapped, if you can't get out in the hot or cold easy, you need to be close to your car, if you got small animals or kids with you, here's some places you can check out and hopefully we'll get some fish. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're at the next spot guys. This is High Street Bridge in Hamilton, still the Great Miami River. Spot number two for a family friendly place to fish. Place to take kids, place to take your pets. I got Mia here with me. We're gonna try to get on some channel cats and flatheads. Stay tuned. Okay, so the reason that I picked this spot as uh, spot number two is a uh, QB roll. There's lots of places to park around here. There's the Fitton Center, which is a public parking lot. And then you just walk down the steps of this levee and you have all of this gargantuous open bank fishing area there's a fitness trail that runs along this stretch of the river so you can actually check the river on your google maps to see where you might want to try before you drive down here but i love how open it is how accessible it is you can bring your kids here you can bring your dog here like i got mia with me she's tied up to my catch it bank car out holder right now and uh, she's just chilling out having a good time and if she takes off running to catch it holds her so there you can bring a tie off for your dog if you got if you're in a wheelchair there's a wheelchair access at different points to get down here and you can wheelchair yourself across this whole fitness trail and figure out where you want to bank fish and it's nice and flat so there's plenty of open area for you to sit cast have some chairs have some buckets maybe even have a fire at night if you're night fishing i don't know the uh the municipal laws around here i've never fished with a fire here at night but you can night fish here too and the bridge here, this high street bridge, is lit up. It's uh, well lit with the street lights and the buildings surrounding the area, so it's a safe place to fish at night. But no matter what your walk of life is, you got easy access to this place, and I've caught some big fish here. Some friends of mine have uh, been known to pull 50 plus pound flatheads out of this area, and they're real shallow to the bank at night, too. They come up into the shallows and feed on the bait fish. So you could have a bait two feet off the water, catch a nice fish, or you could throw out by the pylons, get some nice channel cats around the log jams. There's a sunken tree over here. Two sunken trees, as a matter of fact. And there's some nice big holes. There's a few areas where this uh, gets about 10 to 15 deep. The main channel is on the opposite side of the river, which is, a, is a, uh, significantly deeper. So this is the shallow side, but that's the side you want to be for flatheads. Uh, especially at this time of year in early spring where they're starting to wake up and feed. So one of the downsides of bank fishing in swift current, uh, the river's getting close to normal right now here, but it's still up a little bit. Water's still getting pushed down. So the current's higher than normal. The downside when you're fishing in swifter current uh, from the bank is you got the current working against your line doesn't matter if it's mono or braid, the, the thicker the diameter you got, the bigger the problem. But I'm trying to throw my Big Cat Fever rod out here into a hole out in the middle. And it, it's probably sitting right on the edge of it, which isn't bad. But the current is dragging my line. And it don't matter how much weight you got, if the current's too strong, it's gonna pull on the line and it's gonna drag your weight across the bottom. Unless it gets bumped up against something and 
that is essentially snagged with your bait hanging somewhere. Hopefully the fish will pull it out. But you're, you're fishing perpendicular to the current. You can't do it parallel to the current like you can on a boat. So you want to find some current breaks that are close to the bank. There's a lot of structure right here, which is why I like coming here. And usually I don't do too bad. It's not often that I don't catch something here and get skunked, but sometimes, you know, it, that's part of fishing. Fingers crossed, wish us luck. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see that? I don't know if I was blocking it. But directly in front of me, a little sandal cat jumped right out of the water. Probably about three feet off the bank. That tells me maybe they're feeding shallow. Maybe I should try fishing more shallow. Let's do it with one of the rods and see what happens. When you're bank fishing, especially if you're confined to one area like I am now, all you can really do is keep trying casting different ranges, try different types of bait, different cuts of bait, live bait, different depths, fish different areas of cover, try just casting out different areas. If the fish is upstream from you, he ain't going to catch the scent trail going downstream if you're behind him. So. You might just need to cast upstream a little bit and even if it drifts back down to where you were that scent will still get upstream and uh, attract his attention so you just put it in a spot give it a few minutes nothing's happening change something doesn't matter if you change your weight change your bait change your size of your hook change how far out you throw where you throw just change something because changing nothing is it going to catch you something? show you where you can go you pull right off to the side and have some fun with your uh, kids your dogs your your pets uh, elderly people who may be in a wheelchair or handicapped and have a hard time getting places I'm gonna show you a place you can go and have a good time 